مدرستنا حسام الدين احنا ولادها بنات وبنين مدرستنا حسام الدين احنا ولادها بنات وبنين كلنا واحد حلمنا واحد مع بعضنا كلنا ناجحين Hello everybody, I am Mr. Hussain Hamdi from Hussain Dean Private School. Having enjoyed listening to our school lovely song, let's get ready for the new lesson. Please concentrate. Our today's lesson has just finished and I am waiting for your questions. Please don't forget to do your homework and I am going to follow up all your answers. Till we meet again, goodbye. Today, we are going to talk about Unit 14 Lessons 1 and 2 schools around the world. We will start by reading the learning objectives of the unit. Number one, compare schools in Egypt, Japan, and Brazil. Number two, answer questions after reading about schools around the world. Number three, use have to or don't have to for obligation and lack of obligation. Now we will turn to the orientation of these lessons. What don't you like about your school? Some students annoy each other, and this is a bad thing for all of us. We shouldn't annoy each other and be kind to each other. Now we will turn about we will turn to the new vocabulary of the unit. Exam is a formal test. The word exam means a formal test. What about lunchtime? It's a time to have your meal. Number three, nursery school is a place where very young children are looked after during the day. Number four, primary school is a school for students for students aged six to about eleven. Number five, building is a place which is built by engineers. And the last one, hour, it equals sixty minutes. We have. To observe that the new structure of this unit is talking about obligation and the lack of obligation using have or has to and the negative form is don't or doesn't have to. We have to bear in mind that have to and has to is followed by the same thing. Have to and has to is followed. Have to and has to are followed by the same thing. They are followed by infinitive. Have to comes with the pronouns I, they, we, you, and the has to is followed by infinitive and it comes with the pronouns he or she or it. For example, number one, May has to clean and tidy her room. Number two, we have to go to school on time. Number three, we don't have to go to school on Saturdays. Now, we will turn to a very important subject here. We will turn to the reading of this unit. It's very important and exciting. We will talk about three schools. We will talk about the education and the system of these three schools. We will start by reading the text about schools in Egypt. All the children in Egypt have to go to school from the age of 6 to 15. They can go to nursery school from the age of 4, but they don't have to go. At primary and the preparatory school, all students have to wear a uniform. What about schools in Japan? Japanese students don't have a uniform at primary school, but they have to wear a uniform at secondary school. They have to clean the school building at lunchtime. Most students practice sports or music after school. Many students also have private lessons. Although they don't have to go to these lessons, many students go because they want to do well in their exams. What about Brazil? In Brazil, students don't have to go to school for more than 5 hours a day. Schools have different opening times. Lessons can be in the morning, afternoon, or evening. Brazilian children start school when they are 6. Now we will turn to a simple question. Complete the sentences with words from the article. The words are nursery, primary, preparatory, and uniform. 
All the children go to primary and space school. Yes, I hear you. Who can tell me the answer? Yes, the answer is preparatory school. Very good. Number two, many children in Egypt go to space school before they are six years old. Who can tell me the answer? Yes, that's right. Nursery school. Very good. And the last one, our school uniform is a white shirt with black trousers or a skirt. Excellent, all of you. Now we will turn to the structure again of this unit is talking about necessity. We are talking about have to and has to. We talked about them before that they are followed by the same thing. Who can tell me? Yes, they are followed by infinitive. Now we use have to or has to in affirmative sentences to express necessity. When something is necessary, I have to study every day. Again, I have to study every day. Now we will turn to the affirmative form. The affirmative form here is have to and has to. We talked about that before. Have to and has to are followed by the same thing. They are followed by the infinitive form. Have to comes with I, you, we, they. Has to comes with he or she or it. For example, number one, we have to brush our teeth three times a day. Number two, she has to brush her teeth three times a day. Again, we have to brush our teeth three times a day. Number two, she has to brush her teeth three times a day. Now we will turn to the negative form. The negative from have to is don't have to. The negative from, does, from has to is doesn't have to. Don't have to comes with I, you, we, they. Doesn't have to comes with he or she or it. For example, we don't have to get up early on Fridays. Again, we don't have to get up early on Fridays. Number two, he doesn't have to get up early on Fridays. Again, he doesn't have to get up early on Fridays. Now, we will turn to a very important thing, which is the question. We ask in the present symbol using a very, very important helping verbs, which are do or does. Do comes with I, you, we, they. Does comes with he or she or it. But we have to bear in mind that the subject is followed by one word, which is have to. Do or does are followed by have to in the question form. Don't forget that. For example, do you have to make your bed every day? Again, do you have to make your bed every day? Don't forget that do is followed by have to. Another example, does he have to make his bed every day? Don't forget this. Does is followed by have to. Now, let's practice uh, about this uh, grammar. Fill in the gaps using have to, has to, don't have to, or doesn't have to. I need all of you to focus and pay attention to me. We will use these four words have to doesn't have to don't have to or has to number one we space get up early on mondays who can tell me the answer i will read the question again we space get up early on mondays so the answer is yes have to number two mary space go to school on saturdays mary space Go to school on Saturdays. Who can tell me the answer? Yes, that's right. Doesn't have to. Doesn't have to. Number three, the space play in the classroom. Again, the space play in the classroom. So the answer is yes, that's right. Don't have to. The last one here, John space tidy his bedroom. Again, John stays tidy his bedroom. So the answer is has to extend for all of you.
Now we will turn to uh, the, this exercise in uh, our worksheets. I need all of you to pay attention with me. The first question is choose the correct answer from A, B, C, or D. Number one, before you eat, you have to space the table. Who can tell me the answer? Again, before you eat, you have to space the table. So the answer is set. Set the table, not set. Set. Number two, children space six can go to a primary school. Again, children space six can go to a primary school. So the answer is yes. That's right. Very good. Excellent. Agent. Number three, thank you space answering my questions. Again, thank you space answering my questions. So the answer is yes, I hear you. Yes, that's right. Four, thank you for answering my questions. Number four, you space go to a university if you want to be a doctor. You space go to a university if you want to be a doctor. So the answer is have to. Very good. Does Ayman space get up early? Does Ayman space get up early? Don't forget, does and do are followed by the same thing, which, yes, very good, have to. Don't forget that do and does are followed by the subject and then by have to. Number six, my son is 10 years old. He goes to a space school. My son is 10 years old. He goes to a space school. So the answer is yes, primary school. Very good. Excellent. Now we will turn to a new item here. Read and correct the underlined words. Number one, animals has to eat grass. Animals has to eat grass. So the answer is yes, I hear you. Yes, excellent. Have. Animals have to eat grass. So the answer is have, not has. Number two, you have to eat if you are not hungry. Again, you have to eat if you are not hungry. So the answer is don't have. Very good. Excellent. Number three, primary school begins at the age of four. Primary school begins at the age of four. It's not primary school. Yes, I hear you. So the answer is nursery school. Very good. The last question here, she doesn't has to help us. We talked about do and does and the negative form don't and doesn't. They are followed by the same thing. They are followed by have to. So the answer is she doesn't have to help us. The answer is have, not has. Now we will turn to a new item here. The third question here is supply the missing parts in the following two mini dialogues. Number one, A is talking with B. He asks him or asks her, do you have to wash the dishes? Do you have to wash the dishes? So the answer is, yes, excellent. I can say, yes, I do. I can say, yes, of course. I can say, sure. All of them are right. The second one, Yasmin is talking to Tariq. She asks him a question and he asked, he answered here, no, not at all. So the question is, yes, very good. Do you mind if I ask you some questions about uh, school subjects or I can say about jobs at home or anything? Do you mind if I ask you some questions? Do you mind if I ask you some questions about uh, school subjects? Do you mind if I ask you uh, some questions about jobs at home? Very good. Now, we will turn to our homework today. Here we have two questions. I want you to focus and answer them and uh, next time I will answer them for you. Uh, this is the end of uh, the lesson. Uh, thank you for following us. I want you to uh, study hard and don't forget your homework for today see you next videos inshallah our today's lesson has just finished and i am waiting for your questions please don't forget to do your homework and i am going to follow up all your answers till we meet again goodbye